People always ask me, "Why do you have to do seed saving?" Because when they went to the market, you can see a lot of seeds packaged in the market in the shop. Why do we have to seed to save them? The problem is people don't know most of the seed in the market is hybrid seed or the seed that were controlled by company already. So we can buy them, grow them, but we cannot save seed anymore. We need to buy every time when we grow them. And then, from my experience, to buy seed. It's not normal in my life because I grew up in a farmer family. We never buy seed in our life in the past. We have our own seeds all the time. We always give seed to people, share it seed to other people, or trade with other people. My family used to grow watermelon for a long time. I love it. When I was kid. In the rainy season, when my parents growing rice in the paddy field, I will be in the termite mound and stick the seed, watermelon seed. I till the soil and stick the seed in the termite mound anywhere. That's it. And then when we harvest the rice, on the termite mound it's full of grass, tall grass, but under the grass full of big watermelon hidings. In the grass, we love it, we like it, because it's so easy to grow watermelon in that way. But not really long. There's a came, there's a company came to the village. They start to give free seed to people, and in the same time, it's the first time that we know chemical fertilizer. They give free seed, give free for chemical fertilizer to farmer. People try to grow them, and they love it. They grow fast, and they love that watermelon. Next year they want to grow again, but the company don't give it for free anymore. They sell it. They sold to villagers. One kilograms of watermelon seed. It cost about twenty-five cents. At that time, it's a lot of money. But people still love it. Next year they want to grow again, and they buy again. The third years they buy it again. Only three years, watermelon seed, local watermelon seed, disappear from the whole communities, and in, and it disappear from the whole country after that. Not really long after that, the price of watermelon seed rise up. Every year, ten years later, one kilogram of watermelon seed rises up to three hundred dollars per kilo. That's a lot of money. That's the whole income of farmer for one year, the whole year, at that time. So, it did not happen with watermelon only. This situation it happened with all kind of vegetable. Of food that we eat in our life, right now, everything completely controlled by a few company. And then now, I could not find local watermelon that I used to grow when I was kid anymore. Even I travel all over the country for many many times. All the seed disappear. I noticed that. Most of the seed that we used to grow when I was kid totally disappear. Now, more than ninety percent of seed that we have in the mar in the market that we will grow is new seed, new varieties. It hybrid one. It was developed by companies, and in all of them, we cannot save seed anymore. I think this is the beginning of debt for farmer. Because the price of seed so expensive, but the price of what we grow so low, 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 all the time. Until now, from that time, I 
think about we cannot be happy we cannot rely on ourselves if we have no seed because seed is food food is life if we have no seed that means we have no food no life no freedom no happiness seed saving is very important thing because when i was kid we have so many things to eat we don't eat a few things like now in one season we eat more than one we eat more than 30 varieties of vegetables in each season so in one year we eat more than 100 varieties of vegetables and we have many rivers in Thailand each river we have more than 2,000 variety of fish freshwater fish we have many kind of birds in Thailand we eat so many variety of them but now only 30 years 40 years later now all people in the country eat vegetable less than five varieties per year we used to have more than 20 variety, 20 thousand variety of rice now we have only a few varieties of rice in the market freshwater fish now we have only three freshwater fish in the market we eat one variety of chicken the whole country we eat one variety of pig the whole country and egg come from one varieties of eggs from a few company in the countries we eat less and less and less and less but big amount i think that's the cause of health problem that we have a lot now we have more sickness with no germ before that we don't know this kind of sickness cancer blood pressure diabetes heart disease or even allergy 30 years ago we don't know this sickness before people die a lot in the past but they die from germ like smallpox malaria dengue many kind of disease many kind of germ that kill people in the past but now we have so high technology in medical way people don't die from disease much but we die from sickness with no germ now i think it's related to the food that we eat because what we eat now is totally different from what we eat 30 years ago now many people who live in the city in thailand they eat only rice pork chicken eggs four things all year round so diversity is security diversity is healthy diversity is beauty but we don't have diversity in our food at all right now because we have to eat only the food that the company owns seed on only if the company did not own the seed you cannot find in the market anymore we were trained to eat only what they want us to eat we have no choice in our life and people love to eat very tasty food we like to eat something delicious but most of the food in the market right now that the seed come from the company most of them tasteless that's mean those company that did not develop seed or food for human to eat they develop the seed just to monopolize the market they control the market that's why they don't care about the test the test of chicken so brand the test of egg so brand the test of vegetable brand before that Thai people eat many tests vegetable have so different tests we have bitter test tannin test sour test sweet test and nutty test and brand test we have different kind of vegetable different tests 
The taste of the vegetable is what is indicator of nutrition or the good thing that they have in the vegetable. That's why people in the past, even they have a lot of sickness, they have a lot of thing that cause death for people. But there are many people who are very old, older than 100 years. But now, we eat less variety, but eat more. And then, people get sick and die. The same as before. Not very different. And then, not many people who are older than 80 years in Thailand. Very few people in each village. People have very short life. Mainly they die between 40 to 60. So a lot of people die at that time. So that means the food that we eat have less nutrition, less quality. And then they develop the seed, develop the food, not for us, but for monopolize it. Why do we need to monopolize the food? Because this is a new colonization system, new colonized era. We learned from the history that in the past, many countries from the West country, they are like to go out to colonize many countries in undeveloped country. We heard about Spain, we heard about England, England, French, and Portuguese and America. They took the warship and then they go to many countries, take over each country. But they found that if they take over India, but they can take over Indian country, but they cannot take over people in the country. That's why Gandhi start to be popular after that. But now they found that if they own food, they own everybody in the world. So that's why they don't care about the country anymore. They care about how to own the seas and then bring their seed to those countries and then use their seed to push the local seed out of the country. When the country has no seed in their hand, they lost freedom. They will be colonized. And they don't know that they were colonized. This is very deep, complicated. People don't understand that. Because it's too complicated to think about it. And now, only a few countries, a few companies, they own more than 80% of seed in the world. It's so sad. This is a new imperialism system. We don't know that we were colonized. But actually we work hard, hard, hard. And then all the money, all our labor go to the company. We don't have anything. That's why we are poor. That's why we have to be in debt right, right now. So see, it's very really important thing. If we have no seed, that means we have no food. No food, no life. No seed, no freedom. No seed, no happiness. Now, we have no freedom. We have our life. But we have no freedom on our health. We need to eat only the food that the company wants us to eat. We cannot choose to eat local food that we used to eat anymore. That's not for sale in the market anymore. Many places, you don't have choice. Seeds disappear from the earth very quick. The last study from America, they found that after Green Revolution until now, we lost 94% of seed that we used to eat in the world. Now we have only 6% left from what people used to eat 100 years ago less than 100 years ago. It's so sad. Diversity is security. But now, we have no more diversity in our life. 
most of farmers have no seed in their hand. Most of people don't care about seed. So we have to eat whatever we can buy in the market. And then everything in the market is very bad qualities. Tasteless, high chemical, high hormone, high antibiotics, less nutrition. That's the food that we eat. We work hard, make money very hard, and then we buy very bad food to eat. Why we need to live in this situation? They said, you are what you eat. I think this word is quite true. Before that, we eat chicken, we eat bird, we eat anything that run around everywhere. They eat everything. Now, all the chicken we eat are chicken that grew up in the farm that very crowded. Most of chicken more, cannot walk more than 10 steps. Then they not walk much. They stay in the narrow area. And they're so weak. If the wind blow the roof off, the rain got in there, all the chicken will get sick and die. They're so weak. The same as the pork, chick or pig. The pig will rest in a small cage. They can walk in front only two steps, backward only two steps. They never turn left or turn right all their life. That's the way they grew up. Six months, they will be slaughtered and die. Chicken for egg is the same thing. They stay in the small cage. They cannot walk more than two steps. They eat and lay egg, eat and lay egg. So they got sick. So they have to live in that cage for 14 months only. And then after that, they will be killed. So we eat very sick chicken, very weak animal. Now our life is like those animals. We are so weak. We cannot walk in the sun. Oh, I'm going to get sick. I'm going to get cold. We cannot walk in the rain. Oh, I'm afraid that I'm going to get a cold. I'm going to get a fever. We are so weak. And then we have to live in a small cage like animal that we eat. Most of people stay in the square, small square room for many, many hours per day, every day. From this square room, move to another square room. And those animals, they were fed with food, a pellet or powder. The same food, the same company, the same package, every day, all their life. So now, we are going to be the same with those animals. We start to eat less and less and less variety. And then we eat more and more and more and more. So now, many people start to eat food in the pill, like a protein tablet or fiber tablet, pellet. We start to eat the pill, food in the pill, more and more. The taste of food is the gift of our life. In the past, people enjoy the taste of food a lot because each thing has very special, very unique taste. We enjoy it a lot. But now, we did not enjoy the gift of our life anymore because whatever we eat, we don't care. We just to fill up our stomach and then we go to work. So we don't know the beauty of taste anymore. Everybody have to eat one test in the whole world. That is the test of MSG. Because most of the food that we eat has tasteless. That's why everything we need to add MSG in there. People eat so much MSG all over the world. Many people from Western country, they said, Oh, I never eat MSG. But they never read on the ingredient and the food, the packaged food that they eat. They have many words. They don't use the word MSG. There are many words. But the same, uh, but they use the same thing, the same ingredient. Even pizza. Many big pizza company. In the pizza dough, full of MSG in there. All the dressing full of MSG in there. 
it's very hard to find the food with no MSG. Cooking. In the past, we, we cook, we use only salt and pepper. But now every kitchen, in the kitchen full of sauce, full of things to put in the food, to make the food taste good. So, we're losing the beauty of life. Because we have no seed, no food, no good food. The good local organic food is so tasty. Like chicken. Local chicken, you don't need to add a lot of sauce or anything in there. Just salt and pepper. The taste is so excellent. So good. But whenever we buy the chicken from the market, we add everything but taste still bread. So, we are losing the most important part of our life. We are losing the seeds, the diversity of seeds. If we don't save the seed right now, it can be too late. Because most of the seed that we have now is developed by a company and government. Their main aim is just to focus on high yield and fast. They don't care about the taste, don't care about the qualities, they don't care about sustainability. They just focus on high yield and fast, just to make the price cheap in the market. That's why everything we grow, we raise now, we need to rely on chemical, hormone, and antibiotic so much and need more irrigation, more work. We need more. Just imagine now, if we have no electricity, no fossil fuel, the factory cannot run. They cannot produce hormone, they cannot produce chemical. All the chicken gonna die, the whole world. All the pigs going to die. All vegetables stop growing. Because they were developed to be so weak, they cannot rely on themselves anymore. We eat weak food. We are weak also. If we want to be a good human, happy human, if we want to have freedom, if we want to live in the sustainable way, and then if we want to enjoy our life more we need to have seed we need to have seed in our hand seed is food food is life our life have to be in our hand that's why we need to save seeds right now